probably because people don't like the book. It's a different kind of popularity. So you have to then ask, why don't you like the book? My first impact on reading the book was very emotional. I was in shock, actually. Like, before I heard her speak, I hated this book, I'm gonna be honest. Anger was another. I don't, I don't agree with her at all. Because it was just like a different time period that affects my time period being explained. The very first essay, after I read it, I had to physically put the book down and walk away. Time and distance overcome, read an early advertisement for the telephone. The telephone, Thomas Edison declares, annihilated time and space and brought the human family in closer touch. In 1898, in Lake Cormorant, Mississippi, a black man was hanged from a telephone pole. Lynching, the first scholar of the subject determined, is an American invention. Lynching from bridges, from arches, from trees standing alone in fields, from trees in front of the county courthouse, from trees used as public billboards, from trees barely able to support the weight of a man, from telephone poles. The, the content of this book, I think, is the primary reason why we picked it. The book isn't just about race. It's also about communities and experiencing new things and defining what you call home, something our first year students are having to deal with uh, when they move here. When I first started my undergrad experience, I encountered some ideas about race that I had never seen before and that really changed my thinking fundamentally forever. Um, but I don't think that that's a bad thing either. I, th I think that that's the sort of difficulty that we go to college for. That's the sort of difficulty that makes you grow as a person. My parents taught me about how the slavery and racism in America affected people today and affected how they thought and she herself just talks about it in a perspective that has to do with her life as well, so I know that this is real and it does affect other people's lives. I mean, it might be because I am Hispanic, but I do think that Hispanic children will be taken away from like Hispanic families as well, and it's not necessarily a color thing. I mean, I think that she lost sight of that as well. She really focused on a color, like black and white. The book forces you to get into a conversation. And conversations are about community. People don't have conversations in isolation. Some of us got like mad at certain parts of the book. Like, that's, I don't agree with that, that's stupid. I don't wanna like, you know, I don't, I, don't, I don't agree with her at all, but she actually like wrote it so that we would talk about it. So it was more, I don't know, that was really telling to me. After I heard her speak, um, like I kind of like got more of a sense of like what she was talking about. Like, of how she wanted to write this book to like create discussion and like make people think. So the practice I think that the book established was listening to other people, sharing your own ideas, being respectful of other people's opinions. And those are social values as well as intellectual values that we want to teach on a college community and a university community. So I think we accomplished our purpose here. From the middle of the 19th century to the middle of the 20th century, black men were lynched for crimes real and imagined, for whistles, for rumors, for disputing with a white man, for unpopularity, for asking a white woman in marriage, for peeping in a window. During the race riots that destroyed the black section of Springfield, Ohio, a black man was shot and hanged from a telephone pole. In Pine Bluff, Arkansas, a black man charged with kicking a white girl was hanged from a telephone pole. When I was young, I believed that the arc and swoop of telephone wires along the roadways was beautiful. I believed that the telephone poles with their transformers catching the evening sun were glorious. I believed my father when he said, my dad could raise a pole by himself. And I believed that the telephone itself was a miracle. Now, I tell my sister, these poles, these wires, do not look the same to me. Nothing is innocent, my sister reminds me. But nothing, I would like to think, remains unrepentant. One summer, heavy rains fell in Nebraska, and some green telephone poles grew small, leafy branches. The things that happened in the past don't exactly happen today, but you can still see the slight impact as they just create social drifts in society. 
in a very good way that shocked me. 